Hello everyone. All right, back again. We're doing well today. I feel like I have fulfilled my life quota for a little while. <laughs> I never normally do this many. So this afternoon we're gonna do some blending. I'm just gonna give it a moment to see if anybody jumps on. But if you're watching this afterwards, thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know if you've got any questions about anything that we're doing today. Uh, I just wanna make sure I've got my canvas up the right way. So we're going to dive straight in. Um, but I'm gonna take that off because it's driving me nuts. See if anybody jumps on. I'm sorry, we'll get rid of those. No, there we go, it goes away by itself sometimes. Get rid of that notification. Hello, hello, say hi as you jump on. All right, we're gonna dive straight in. I'm a bit excited about this actually. Um, so, a few of you will know. Um, I've spoken to a few of you about this in the past. I've had people ask whether or not I do canvases, um, and I don't. I um, find canvas very daunting, and at times, not at times, always, I find it's just this big blank space in front of you. And I can do artwork on furniture, and I can create these really cool finishes that would transfer very well to canvas, but I always find furniture really, really easy. I don't find furniture daunting at all, whereas a blank canvas, it's just this straight thing that you've got to fill up, whereas furniture, it's got all its curves, it's got its little nooks and crannies and um, its age and its history showing that you can sort of work with as you're going. So I haven't done a canvas in quite some time. I've done a few here and there, but they're generally not my cup of tea. So we'll see how today goes. But we're doing a canvas today. I'm actually gonna bring you a little bit closer. That's not very well positioned, is it? We're doing a canvas today because, um, there we go. Whoop. Sorry, I should have got that into the right spot before we started, there we go. Um, we're doing canvas today because I actually don't have any furniture pieces ready to go. Um, the dresser that we did last week <laughs> is a whole other story. Um, it's given me grief for that one. So I thought we'd do a canvas. So this is just, it's actually a Kmart canvas. Um, one of their framed ones that's so got like a timber look frame around it that's been taped up. I was going to do, I think I was gonna do like a Christmassy sign or something on it last year. So I put a coat of chalk finish on it, but I haven't done anything beyond that. Um, it's all taped up, it's ready to go. So my inspiration, and it probably won't end up anything like this, but I had a few people ask if I could um, show silk finish blending. So I thought, let's have a go. So, oh, hang on. Let me open this, right? This is dodgy ass. <laughs> There's a little photo of my phone screen because I went live. So this is sort of, I really like the blues and I do like the gold. I love a bit of gold leaf. So we probably won't do the gold today, but I like the blues and I like how it fades up. It's not gonna look like that, but that's sort of, I wanted to do blues, I was trying to work it out. So I've got heaps of these little sample pots. These are 50 ml sample pots. Uh, when I became a Pure Eco Stockist, they sent me all of the colours and with each release we get all of the colours in little sample pots so that we can do our sample boards and so that we can have a play around with them. So I've got heaps of these and they need to be used up. So we're going to use them today. Um, I'm going to start at the bottom. That's the top of my canvas. This is the bottom. We're going to start dark. So I've got some denim. I have got Bluebell and then I've got Peacock as well. So three of Purico's dark colors. We're using Silk Finish. Normally I use Chalk Finish to blend. I prefer the blend that I get with it. However, Silk Finish does blend really, really nicely. So I wanted to show you Silk Finish blending today. I did a little table a couple of weeks ago that sold this morning. The post is on my feed. If you go back through it, a couple of posts, you'll find it. 
Um, that was silk finish and it blended beautifully. And because of that, I've had quite a few questions asked if I can show you how it blends. So with silk finish, it moves quite well, but it also needs a little bit of help. Um, silk finish also needs extra coats to get full coverage, whereas chalk finish, I find I don't need to do as many coats. So some silk finish colors need more than others. The blues are pretty good, but sometimes we need a bit of extra help. So we're sort of gonna do one, we're gonna do our base and then I'll come back and I'll do, and I'll, and I'll blend out a, a, another coat. Um, so let me open all these. Oh, I can't get that one open. So we've got, what did I say, denim. There's always one that won't open. Um, denim, bluebell, and this one's peacock, and it's the one that doesn't want to open. There we go. All right, slice my finger open. All right, so I've only got a little bit of each left, so we're just gonna play around. Um, I'm using up products today. I'm probably gonna use one brush for all the dark colors. I might come in with a second brush. It's up to you, uh, but I am using a 38 mil oval brush. These are the brushes that I sell. I absolutely love them. I use them for everything. I'm gonna start with my darkest first, which is denim. And I'm going to wet my brush. It's just gonna help my paint flow that little bit more. And let's spray the canvas as well. You want your paint to flow a little bit when you're doing this sort of thing. So, and we're painting over chalk paint is what's on the canvas. So we're just gonna get it down. And I'm actually gonna bring you guys closer. You know, sorry, let me move that sign that's in the road. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, normally I don't move the camera too much. You don't really need to see me, so let's look at the canvas today. All right, so this is denim. I wanted to use um, Inkwell, which is our darkest navy, but I don't have any any pots of it. I thought I did, but it appears that I don't. So we'll use this instead. So I sort of just bring it up. And I just want to get the paint on to begin with. So on that table that I did, this is exactly what I did. I brought my two colors on and then I sort of joined them together. I'm just trying to, there's a little bit of texture. I rolled this base coat, so there's a bit of texture to it. I'm just trying to get that filled in a little bit. All right, so we've got our first color. I'm gonna come in, I think I want a little bit of bluebell. And we're just gonna bring that down, making sure that I get those edges as well. And you just sort of keep, you really do just keep playing with it. I find chalk finish, you do get a bit more movability with the paint, but silk's quite good as well. And I do like the way that silk comes together. Now, it is warm in here, so we're just going to spritz it with a little bit of water and then move that around a little bit. Now the paint will lift a little bit as well, which is normal. And we're just going to keep bringing it down, make sure we get the edge. And I'm actually going to, oh, that's... <laughs> It's a bit more dried out than what I thought it was. Let me just spritz that with some water and give it a little stir. Silk so finish is pretty good. It doesn't dry out too much in the pots, but because there's so such a little amount in them, it can. Okay. So we're gonna come in with some peacock as well. Oops, just a little bit. back across with our bluebell 
and sort of just keep working it as it comes together. Sprick your brush if you need to. And when it comes to blending, you really are, you just playing around with it until you're happy with it. And you can do multiple coats. Uh, your first coat does not have to be the be all and end all. You can do more if you need to. Do whatever you need to do to get the look that you're after. Now I like Peacock because it's got a bit of greenness to it. Whereas the Bluebell and uh, the Denim are quite blue. There's no real green to them. So just sort of gonna keep working it in. I'm already really liking this color combination. I'm gonna come back in with my denim now. The bottom's doing really well. It's a little bit tacky, but it's getting there. And because it's such a thin coat of paint, you can sort of just keep working it as well. You don't have to wait for heaps of dry time. And you are gonna have more texture with this as well because you are working the paint a lot more than what you would normally be doing. So just be prepared for that as well. If you've got questions, please let me know. We're gonna bring, I just want a little bit of the, uh, what color are we using? The peacock. I want a bit of that green coming through the bottom here. And as I said, if you don't like it, just go back over it later on if you need to. And you sort of just keep pulling it together. We're quite moody at the moment, which I like. So I'm just gonna put Slightly damp, some freshened up pieces up here. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit, a little bit of an angle so it's not too, I talk like I know what I'm doing, I don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Now, now we're gonna make, I wanna make a pretty big jump. I do wanna go lighter. So we're gonna come in with Surf, which is this really beautiful pale blue. And then we're gonna go lighter again. We're gonna come in with uh, snow, which is white, white. And I'm gonna keep using this brush just to sort of blend it in down here. And you can see as it's blending, it's sort of changing the color and adding more colors as well because it's mixing. Oh, I like that. That bit of darkness coming through. Who knows, I might end up really liking this. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of the darkness still coming through further up either. I think that's quite nice and it gives a bit of depth as well. And having the white underneath is also helping the lighter colours get better coverage as well. Come back down here. Let's bring in a bit more of our bluebell and our, uh, what are we using? Peacock as well. And I find with this, I just want to blend it enough that it's not like really obvious brush strokes as well. Bring that dark up a little bit more. I'm just 
just going to spritz it with some water. If you find it's dry and it's not moving, uh, silk finish can lift a little bit. Chalk finish won't lift as much, but sometimes the silk, you can see how that's just sort of smoothed it out a bit. I'm just going to change my brush. I just find there's a bit too much, uh, what, uh, the, what's it called, the surf on it. I've just spritzed it with some water. I just don't want to bring that light down too far. More about peacock. Hmm. I really like this. <laughs> I don't know how well the camera is showing it, but I actually really like this bit of variation that we've got happening here. I think it's quite nice. I do really like this peacock. I like this green coming through. And I do like a bluebell. I find bluebells quite bright. Let's just sort of pop it down in a few spots and then More relaxing than what I thought it would be. Way more relaxing than what I thought. I was so stressed about this. You have no idea how much I was stressing about doing this today. I've been putting this off for a while, let's be honest, doing anything like this. Um, but <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, I'm just going to switch back to my first brush just because it's mainly got the lights on it. I'm just going to shuffle them out of the road. Alright, bring more of our light colours up and I'll bring in some white in a minute as well. We've already got the white in the background but I really want the white blending down into our blue. So I'm just going to bring the blue up a little bit further. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before so this is quite fun all right let's bring in some of our white so I've just got I've got snow or I've got macadamia just let me have a look I have a bigger jar on the shelf I'm feeling like yeah no I don't have macadamia but I don't want the grayness I definitely want the white that snow will give me. So snow is pure, is pure white. It's white as white can be. Its coverage isn't amazing, but that's because it's got no pigment in it. Um, it's still a brilliant white. It's really, really nice. It's one of our most popular. And that's a bit dry as well. Walk around multiple times and we'll get there eventually. Got a little stick, give it a quick little stir. Sure it's all come together as well. We don't want any separated paint here. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so we've got our pure white. So it's actually going to be whiter than what's on the board here as well. The board, I'm pretty sure from memory, was um cloud, which is a little bit lighter and a bit more grey. a bit of dust across the top there apparently I just discovered that this has been sitting out the back for ages this canvas waiting to do something with it so we're just gonna bring that out of the road bring the white up and across there is a lot of dust on the top apparently I should have cleaned that before I did this so I'm just gonna bring it up I do like I 
the um, little peaks of blue that are coming through the white as well at the top here. Just what's on my brush. It's so easy to blend. It really, really is. And I think this is quite pretty actually. Just bring some of those colors up as well. So I'm just sort of really dragging that brush, getting some of those colors pulled up the top here. And then just working it in to those blues as well. So we're not to one color and we've got a few colors coming through. here and a little tiny bit of the blue belt as well and then I'm going to come in with my brush it's got the white on it and I'm just going to pull them in a little bit and I'm just going to bring my white down just a little bit not all the way down just enough to add a bit of dimension more than anything. That was a fair bit, but that's okay. We'll bring in with our, uh, what's our color? Surf over the top. And bring those two together. until you're happy with it. I'm quite impressed with this actually. I'm very impressed with myself today. <laughs> Have I said that a few times? Every now and then, things just seem to work for you, don't they? I'm always impressed when I do something that's beyond what I normally do. I'm always quite proud of myself. I think it's important to recognize when you've done a good job and be proud of yourself. And I tell you guys that all the time, to be proud of what you've achieved. To really those of you who are sort of just trying furniture painting for the first time, I think it's so important to recognize when you've done a good job and when you've tried something a bit different. I don't think we want too much down here. I'm just gonna bring in a little bit and then go over the top of that. So I'm just going to bring my denim back down the bottom here a little bit. Just, it's dry enough now. It just needs a little bit of touching up more than anything now. So now we're just, I'm really happy with it. I just want to touch it up a little bit and make sure that I've got sort of pretty good coverage. It's just a dark color more than anything. There's a few spots here. You probably can't see it on the camera but there's a few spots down here where I can see it's just not quite what it should be. I'm gonna bring a little bit of the bluebell down into the denim as well, just to brighten it up a little bit because it's quite a, it's quite a bright blue and I feel like it's just adding that little bit of dimension. And then we'll come in with a tiny bit of our peacock as well. Just like that, okay? I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit. And I'm sort of, there's back next to no paint on my brush just here. But there's enough that's catching the texture in the canvas as well. It's just giving us a bit of oomph as we come up. It's 
just bring this down. Just a little bit and I'm gonna come in uh, without the bluebell, I think, just down here. The bluebell's already here, I just wanna bring it up to match what was there a little bit. And I'm feeling like we've got a little bit of peacock over here. I'm feeling like it's just a little bit too green and a bit too much of a streak. So I'm just sort of, I like it. I just wanna dull it down. Oh, that was way too much of my brush. Just sort of dull it down a little bit. <laughs> How fun was this? I really enjoyed this today. Thank you all for joining me. Oh, I'm quite impressed. If you could see my face right now, you'd see the massive grin on it. I'm really, really happy with this. I was so nervous doing anything like this. And you can see how well that's just come together. Completely out of my comfort zone. bring our white down just a little bit. I don't want heaps of my white coming over the top of my blue down here. I don't mind a little bit here and there, but I really want to keep it separated a little bit. I'm just going to bring the darker blue brush back up a little bit. So I've only used two brushes today. I grabbed a few more because I wasn't sure, but I've only used the two. Which I think is plenty. So one for my lights, one for my darks. All right, let me move it. Let's have a look. I'm so impressed with myself. I really, really am. Um, let me, we have a spot there, hang on. Let me move it and then I'll move the camera so you can all see it. Oh no, it's not big enough to sit there. <laughs> all right, at the end of the counter it is. Okay, let me move the camera. Sorry, I'm going to ooh, move you all, hi. All right, let us turn. Have a look. What do we think? That's pretty cool, isn't it? So we've got our peacock coming through the bottom and our denim and our bluebell. But you can see how nicely that blends up. And then we've just got a bit of dry brushing coming up through the top and on that texture that the roller created. Pretty cool. All right, I'm so chuffed with that. That's amazing. Okay, let me turn you again. All right, thank you all so much for watching. That was fun. Um, so, in conclusion, Pure Eco Silk Finish blends beautifully. Um, you just won't get as much texture with it. It's still going to try and self-level itself. So you won't get as much texture with it. So if you're looking for texture, definitely use Chalk Finish. But... If you still want it quite smooth um, and you like that sheen that you get from Silk Finish, use Silk Finish. It blends beautifully. It moves around really nicely as well. And yeah, it's fun. And if you've got both, use both together. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you like. Have a wonderful Friday afternoon. Have a wonderful weekend. We're open again today. Uh, not today. Um, <laughs> open again tomorrow, 10 to 1, 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk. Uh, I will have this on display. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with it. So I will pop it up on display for you to come and check out tomorrow. Um, and yeah, apart from that, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll pop this up on our YouTube. Bye, everyone.